I, you know, you just take this leap of faith into the future and just think, you know, this kid's interesting. I like the way he thinks and, you know, he's, he's got cool parents, you know, that I think he'll just be kind of an artist. You know, he wasn't out of a mold, you know, that was for sure. He was his own guy. And I thought, oh, that can change, you know, any, anything can happen, but I bet on that. Oh. And he, he's the same guy. He's this kind of ethereal, mysterious, unique young man now. You know. All right, don't worry about it. Looks like you use the bumpers. You don't want the bumpers. Life doesn't give you bumpers. I, you know, I definitely understood how, how bizarre it was, you know, and how how experimental it was, and that's, you know, I <laughs> have always been into bizarre things, so, you know, that's a lot of, I think, why, you know, why I chose to be involved in the project, despite, I was kind of a bashful, you know, so it was a little bit of a decision to even take the part, but, um, but, you know, as far as really grasping it, it definitely took a while to really kind of understand, you know, the true scope of the project. <laughs> We had a new student joining us today. Hey, dude. Welcome to the suck. Worries, no more than life. It just felt like life itself, you know? It's like, well, think bad things could happen and alter history, but that could happen to any of us any moment. So, you know, you sort of have to have a faith in life that ultimately it's kind of an optimistic film, I think. It's like, well, we're going to be here 12 years from now. It's going to be worthwhile to have done this. And it's like a new way to tell a story if we do it right. So. Yeah, it was like this fun life project we were all participating in. So.